Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cole's Closet. Today, we're going over my sale rack, how much I think I can get from the item, where I got it, and how much I like the item, yada, yada, yada. So let's get right into it. The first shirt, um, I'm gonna skip through the bangers first. First shirt right here. This is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Pretty sure it's Jr. Yep, Jr. T-shirt. Chase Authentic tag. I'm guessing maybe 10 bucks on this. Got this from Highland Throwbacks. I got it from the um, the bag fill-up thing. If I get 10 bucks from this, it would be really nice. Perfect. This right here, uh, this is a Hanes T-shirt, Hanes Heavyweight. Um, this is 07. Uh, championship game Ohio State I'm hoping I can get maybe like eight for this some some light some light I got this I think I got this from Hargo Frith not positive on that though uh, next up got this old Nike Nike shirt it's a size medium I think it'd be nice to get like 15 bucks for this, maybe 20. I'm not sure how many Nike, how much Nike things go for. This is a medium, it's white. Um, yeah, I got this at a Goodwill in Cleveland. Okay, next up, uh, CSA tag, medium, uh, Cavs, Cleveland Cavaliers t-shirt. I'm, I'm hoping for like seven bucks for this. I mean, just, just enough money. I think I got this from the North Cam Goodwill. Not positive though, not positive. Um, next up, got a Pittsburgh Steelers shirt. This is this was from my own personal collection. I cleared a lot of it out because uh, I don't like as much of them. And uh, this is a size large. Uh, I think I got it from eBay for my collection. I'm hoping to get 15 bucks, 15, 20 from this. Um, it's a cool shirt. It's just large and Steelers, two, two not great things. Uh, here's a recent pickup. I got this yesterday at a thrift store down in Columbus. Uh, it's a Harley Davidson. Um, got the white tag. The back's cool. Hoping to get like, uh, like ten bucks off this. Uh, yeah, pretty decent shirt. Got a cool fade. I think it's actually just gray though. I don't think it has a fade, honestly. Um, next up, uh, so this is, um, I found this at the flea market and I thought it looked cool. Gildan tag, silky though. And I, I as I after I bought it, this guy's like, yeah, this is a what did he say? He was like, yeah, this is a um, haunted house down in Florida. So he's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't care. Maybe like 10 for this because I actually think it looks looks kind of cool. It looks like it could be like a horror movie shirt. So like probably like 10 for that. Got it at the Hartwell Thrift. Uh, next up, we got this one. This one, I like the colors on it a lot. Uh, I got this from Salvation Army down in Canton. For the loom tag, one of the best tags. Um, I'm hoping maybe like 10, 15 for this. Probably just 10 though. But yeah, pretty cool shirt, pretty cool shirt. Okay, next up, uh, West Virginia, 99 crew neck. This one's pretty cool. We've got a Russell Athletic tag, size large. Uh, what year is this? Doesn't say. Um, but yeah, this is, this was a bin fine, so like it was like 50 cents or something. Hoping to get maybe 10, 10 out of this. Maybe 15 because it's a crew neck. I don't know. Um, it's officially licensed by uh, WVSSAC. I don't know what that is. Lulz, probably something loser. So yeah, maybe 10, 15 on that. Uh, here we have, uh, This is I got this from Hyla Throwbacks. Five dollar thing. I mean, ten dollar thing again. Haynes heavyweight tee, large, pretty cool. I'm hoping ten fifteen for this one. Pretty cool car shirt. Um, King Phone Force. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool as balls. 
Okay, next up, got an Indian shirt. Um, this one is size large. This one's nice, it's a starter. I'm hoping to get 15, 20 out of this one. Pretty cool shirt, especially with cheap Wahoo being bye-bye. I hope it'll go on for more, it's from 97. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool shirt, pretty solid shirt. Something light, something light. Um, this one, and yeah, this one's ugly. But it's a Sturgis, uh, 2014, so it's pretty old. I mean, pretty, pretty new, um, which is a little disappointing. I wish it was older. The design's not that great either. You got an eagle on the front. Uh, here's the eagle on the back. The back's cool, but it doesn't have a tag. So I'm hoping maybe like six, seven bucks for this one. Nothing crazy. Uh, this one right here. Logo 7, XL, XL Indians, uh, probably 15, 15 bucks for this one. It's from 98, it's pretty cool, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping for 15 bucks, got this at the flea market. Okay, this was a personal from mine. Uh, I didn't like it, but I'm, I'm, it's pretty cool, like the designs. If you don't have one of these, it's pretty cool. Delta tag. I'm, I'm gonna ask for like 20, uh, 20, 20 to 25 for this one probably just cause it's a crew neck. See what happens with it. Pretty cool shirt. Yeah, uh, I got that on eBay personal. This Hard Rock Cafe, probably like 15 for this cause it's a crew neck once again. Hard Rock Cafe, embroidered. I uh, got this at the $5 thing from Highland Throwbacks. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool shirt. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, this one, uh, I got this at a, I got this at the, oh, it still has a tag on it. I got this at um, a Goodwill, North Canton Goodwill. Uh, it's a red uh, Ohio State Final Four. Um, XL sport tag actually really nice I don't know what year it's from I don't think it says but it looks oldish and I'm gonna probably ask like 1520 for this one just because it's a really solid shirt this one this one's not that great I also got it from the North Canton Goodwill I'm gonna ask maybe like eight bucks for this one Nike tag just a little something, something, nothing too crazy. Um, this one, I actually saw this one at Uncover Vintage when we went, except it was a different color. Um, Walt Disney, size XL, old tag. I'm gonna say this is probably like 12, 15, 20, probably 20, because I saw high end throwbacks were selling it for 24. Um, yeah, pretty cool shirt. Hopefully, some old mom buys it. Okay. I got that one from the Hartville Goodwill, I think. Or the High Hartville Thrift, I think. Hartville Thrift, yeah. Um, next up, we have this motorcycle shirt. Um, the back's uh, the back's cool. Um, the front's not that great. The Gildan Tag XL got this from the flea market for two dollars. I'm gonna say maybe like 10, 15 for this one because I feel like some white chick would buy it because of the back. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, next up, I got... Where did I get this one? Oh, yeah. This is from the Highland Throwbacks. Grab a bunch. It's a Mickey Mouse crew neck. I'm guessing 15 to 20 for this one. Uh, oh, really old Mickey Mouse tag. Pretty cool. 15, 20. I think I can sell that. The only problem is is that um, like it, the neckline's way too big. This, uh, it doesn't say the size. It's probably 2XL, honestly. Looks huge. Um, but yeah, 15 to 20 might work for that one. Um, these next ones are going to fly through really fast. Um, this was a personal. Got it for 14. Uh, I just want to get rid of it. So I'm maybe going to go 15, 20 for it. Uh, got that at the flea market. This one, eBay, I'm going 15, 20 for this one. Got it off eBay, was a personal. These are all gonna be 15, 20, 15, 20, got it for 14. 15, 20, 
I don't, I don't know how much I got it for. Got it off eBay. This one's also fifteen twenty. Got it off uh, eBay as well. Um, here we have this tire one. Uh, I got this at the Goodwill in Cleveland. This one's actually really nice. Um, I'm probably gonna go fifteen for this because I actually like the purples on it a lot. It looks dope. I don't know what it is. And the tag, the tag's Bayside, which is a good tag. It just looks really nice. But yeah. Um, got this Indians one. Uh, I'm probably gonna go like 15 for this one. Cool tag from 95. Got this at the Cleveland Goodwill. Navy color, pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty solid shirt. Um, this one. I got outside of the bins. This guy like asked me to come over, show me a couple shirts. Got this one for five. Harley, pretty cool. White tag XL. I'm gonna ask for maybe like 15 for this one. Pretty cool shirt. Pretty cool shirt. Uh, I got this Led Zeppelin one. I didn't like it. It's a two X. It fit weird. Um, I'm probably gonna go like 20 for this one. Hopefully somebody buys it. If not, who really cares? LOLs. Um, got that off eBay. I'm a huge purchase. This I got forever ago. This one, um, got it literally like the first time I went to a, a Goodwill, I think. The one down in Canton, North Canton. Embroidered Nike shirt. No tag, which is unfortunate. I'm only going to ask like six, seven bucks for this. Hopefully some dumb fat retard buys it. Um, because it's a 2X. Next up, got this shirt. I don't know who the racer is. I found this at the Jackson Goodwill. There's the back. Winner's circle tag. Good tag. Um, it actually, um, still has the winner's circle, like, thing and the, uh, the Walmart tag, which is really crazy, really crazy. Um, so yeah, two X, I'm asking probably like 10, 15 for that. Uh, this one, Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, I found this at the Good Goodwill. Um, this close to where that one is, cause it's a beast, it's a beast Goodwill. Only real OGs know that one. Um, found this there. Uh, maybe like 10 bucks. Maybe less, maybe less than 10. Got it for like three though, so anything's profit. So yeah, um, now I'm gonna get in my hats. Um, so over here, I got a couple hats. Uh, I'll save the best for last in this one. So first up, amp hat. Um, this is a NASCAR hat. There's the back, 88. Uh, it says NASCAR right there. Winner's circle tag. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool hat. This one's also a NASCAR. I don't know who it is. I don't know who either of these people are. Uh, there's that one. Lowe's on the back, cool embroiderment. Um, winter circle tag. I know you hat heads are going insane. Uh, then I got this Dale Earnhardt Jr. hat. This one's the best one out of these three. Uh, I got 88 right here. Um, got Amp Energy. Um, NASCAR in the back. I don't know if you can see that. And another winner circles tag. Okay. And then right back here. Uh, I'll save the best for last in this one. So I got this NASCAR one. Those ones were, that was five for three, those last ones I showed you. Um, this one, got a NASCAR hat. This one's really basic, but it was at the bins for cheap. It was like 30 cents, there's a NASCAR logo. That one's not bad, not bad, but it's easily the worst one I've showed you so far, I think. Uh, next up, got this Dale Earnhardt Jr. one. Number eight, NASCAR on the back. Uh, it even has the tag still on it. Um, yeah, this one's not bad, but it's also not great. Wait, wait for these next two, these next two. Boom, these next two are fire. Uh, so here, we have this guy, I don't know who it is. Interstate Batteries Racing. Um, there's a signature. Right here it says that. Then you got NASCAR in the back. 
And then right in here, you have the chase tag. Good, really good tag for racing tags. And here's the best hat in my opinion. We have uh, a Jeff Gordon hat. This one's crazy. I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but there's a crazy fade up front compared to the back. Um, you got Flames, uh, Oop Point Motorsports, 24, um, Hendrickson. This thing is just crazy. You got a little NASCAR right there. Got more Chase Sports thing. And yes, it is a Chase Sports tag. There you are. Okay, and those are all my hats that I have. I'm hoping maybe for five bucks each would be a profit. Okay, let's get into my my four bangers that I have. I have four bangers. I'll tell you where I got them. Well, actually, I won't because they're my they're my spots. We'll go. We'll just go in order to uh, which I found them. So the first find. Wait, let me. Yeah, the first find is this Alaskan Harley Davidson really really cool uh it's a small unfortunately um which is unfortunate there's the back pretty cool uh i found this one at a goodwill and i will not disclose the goodwill but it is a very good goodwill um and uh i found this to it um it goes for like 50 bucks if it's a large i'm guessing maybe i can get like 35 35 40 maybe i'm not sure uh, i'll just have to see this is a cool find really cool find um next i found next i found yeah next i found this one um this right here it's a stone cold steve austin shirt found at the same goodwill um this one's crazy it got kind of a nice fade on it um Austin 316 got the tag RA um here's the back don't trust nobody Stone Cold Steve Austin pretty cool um I looked this one up actually uh this one goes for around 100 bucks so pretty solid pretty solid come up uh, I got it for around five I think so yeah this one's good this one's good and then this one isn't a huge come up. I just like the shirt. Um, so this one I found on eBay. Uh, I, th I think I bought it for 45 after taxes and everything. It goes for about 100. Uh, it's an Ozzy Osbourne, Rob Zombie, um, Merry Mayhem t-shirt from 2001. There's the front. There's the back. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, the hem, The hem has some some tearing and some fading it has a nice fade um cool all sport tag in there size xl if this doesn't sell i can just wear it because i think it's i think it's pretty cool it's not bad okay and then this was actually just today i found this shirt at the same goodwill as the the um stone cold steve austin and the harley davidson uh, the Mummy's Ghost. So the story behind this is I was actually, I looked through the typical clothes rack, right? And I didn't find anything and I was bummed out. So as I was walking back to my car, I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna look through the, like the, what are they called? Like those work, the dress shirts. I'm like, you know what, whatever. There's like a couple shirts spread out through these dress shirts, might as well look. And I land on this one. The mummy's ghost um i was like i was like this looks kind of cool i looked it up really quick and i saw one going for like 100 130 bucks so i was like okay i'm gonna cop just maybe that's a weird price like an outlier but who cares i'm gonna cop i cop it and this thing goes for about between this thing probably goes for about like 250. um it is missing the tag so it will go for a little bit less. I'm guessing like 200, 150. Um, but it is still a dope shirt. Um, the Miami's Grave. Uh, it's licensed by Cheney Enterprises. This is a movie in 96. It's from 96. Dope shirt. 
probably my best come up. Be these are, it's definitely tied between these two for my best come up, but I'm gonna give it to this if I can sell it for 150. I also like it more, I think. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for tuning into my video. Uh, this has been a longer one, but I've been working really hard to get here and I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video.